Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial video and today we're going to talk about aggregating data for graphs. So, <clears throat> uh, well, first of all, to say this video was recorded in August 2021 using Excel 365. So a friend of mine asked me for help creating a graph based on very detailed data, but they didn't want to base it on that detailed data. They wanted to base it on grouped data. So on screen, you can see I've got some fictional data here. And let's imagine I've got this data um, for a, an events company or something. So in March, they had Harry Hill playing and in April, they had Hard Fi playing. And then in May, they had Home Alone showing. And then in June, they had some sort of Hamlet production. So what we've got here is information on... Um, each individual ticket sales for each show and that's very detailed but what we actually want to do is create a graph based on ticket sales per day so if I were to take this data as it is and try and create a graph um, so let's just create a, a standard um, var chart it's incredibly detailed and, and by default it's going to grab all of this data but Really, I'm not bothered about column A. All I'm interested in is ticket sales per day. So I need to kind of group it by um, the day and sum the ticket sales. Okay, so that's not very helpful, but that's putting the name of the show. So let me delete that. And let me instead try and do it with just the data that I'm interested in. So if I go back to insert. Okay, so here we're looking at just ticket sales and date but we're still not getting the data that we need it's far too detailed what we want to do somehow is sum these dates so if we look at these dates here um two ticket sales on the first of march one on the first of march one on uh, um two on the first of march so you can see i just want to kind of group these um and right now that's not working so what i've done um Oh, excuse me, I'll just delete that. So what I did in order to get around this was to, first of all, get the data right before I start creating my graph. And the best way to do that is to use a pivot table. Now, I have done a video on pivot tables previously, um, which I'll put a link to in the chat, in the uh, description of this video. But first, the best thing to do is start with getting the data right before you start working on your graph. So if I go to insert and pivot table, let's begin, we'll put it um, in a new worksheet. And the what I'm interested in is number of tickets per date. So I'm gonna bring my rows here for my date and I'm gonna bring my tickets here. And automatically the pivot table will present the data as I want it. So it already sums, you can see here, sum of tickets. So it summed the ticket sales for each day. And that's exactly the data I need. So now I can highlight that. Go to insert and pick a chart. And now I get the data exactly as I want it. And this solution works for you know any any amount of data, any size of data, any um, when you're dealing with the pivot tables, you're only getting <clears throat> the fields you need. So this could be columns and columns of data. Start with the pivot table, get only the columns you need. So in that case, you're getting rid of the columns you don't need. You're only grabbing the ones you're interested in, and then based on that data, um, create a graph. And all these things are dynamic, so when things change in this bit here, it will update this bit here, which in turn will update this bit here. <clears throat> so it's all kind of dynamic and all linked. Um, well, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope it solved any problems you might have had. Um, if you've got any comments or feedback, it's all appreciated. Thanks very much for your time. See you next time.